the year was 2020. It was the month of March. With the outbreak of the pandemic, work and business came to a halt. COVID-19 not only derailed the economy, but also stopped people from living their normal lives. From trains to airplanes to vehicles on the road, everything came to a standstill. Markets, shopping malls suddenly became deserted. The pandemic economically broke the back of shopping malls. After two years of ups and downs, let's find out how much have the economic conditions of shopping malls changed. So how many malls are there in the eight major cities of the country? Real estate consultant Knight Frank's report shows that in the first half of the year 2022, a total of 271 malls were operational in eight major cities of the country. In these malls, the total rental space, that is, the total area, was 93 million square feet. In December 2019, that is, before Covid, there were 255 malls operating in these cities and the gross lease area was 77.4 million square feet. So, 16 new malls came up in 30 months and the lease area increased by 15.5 million square feet. These eight cities include NCR, Mumbai, Bengaluru, Chennai, Hyderabad, Pune, Kolkata and Ahmedabad. How much space is vacant in the malls in major cities of India? To understand the financial condition of malls in the post-Covid period, malls have been divided into three categories, namely Grade A, Grade B and Grade C. These categories are determined based on several criteria. This classification has been done on the basis of size, vacant space, that is vacancy rate and the number of tenants. There are 52 malls in Grade A, 94 malls in Grade B and 125 malls in Grade C. Post-Covid, a total of 16.6% of the space in these malls is vacant compared to 15.5% in December 2019. Grade A malls have the lowest vacancy of 4.1%, Grade B 16.1% and Grade C malls 33.5%. Anand Singhania, Chairman MSME of Credi and Managing Director of Magneto Malls says, Malls have achieved pre-Covid levels in terms of footfall and demand. Sales are also more than the pre-Covid level. New brands are coming to malls. There is no vacancy in good malls. Some malls do have empty space. This might be because such malls are located strategically or they have not been operated properly and not being well structured. From a demand and supply perspective, malls have increased rent by 10-20%. to 20%. Why are 57 malls on the verge of closure? These days, shopping mall sector is going through a strange problem called ghost malls. Ghost malls do not mean ghost malls at all. But these are malls in which more than 40% of the space is vacant. Ghost malls have emerged due to deficiencies in size and ownership pattern, flaws in design, poor layout, failure to control customer movement, low occupancy, etc. In the last few years, the number of such malls have increased rapidly. At present, 21% or 57 malls in 8 major cities of the country are on the verge of closure. These have a total of 84 lakh square feet of lease space. All efforts to revive these malls and to increase footfall and earnings have proved to be unsuccessful. Venu Singhal, head of leasing and operations Gore City Mall Noida Extension says that Gore City Mall in Noida Extension used to get an average of 20,000 people daily during weekdays in the pre-Covid period, while the average footfall on weekends was 1 lakh. Now it has increased to 25,000 and 2 lakh respectively. Before the pandemic, the occupancy in malls was 75%, which has now reached 97%. At the same time, the number of stores has increased from 50 to 90. How much will be the sales volume in shopping malls? Retail sales in shopping malls are estimated to reach $39 billion in 2027-28. It is expected to grow at a compounded annual growth of 29%. In the financial year 2021-22, sales in malls in eight major cities increased by 3% to 8 billion US dollars. It is estimated to cross the pre-COVID levels to reach at 11 billion dollars in 2022-23.